Hi guys, and welcome to episode 21 of My Road to Glory. I'm Vic, and as you know, we are into the semi-finals of the tournament, the Advanced Cup, uh, which is the letting pretty much anyone in cup, any gold team really. And we get drawn against this fella, who has a very strong Premier League team. Um, with Thiago, no, Thiago, I've forgotten his name. The centre back, he's uh, he's worth a hundred thousand coins alone. That player, so good team. And uh, Nani gets him off the mark. Nani's good in that position because he's uh, right footed, even though he's on the left. So finesse shots like that come easy to him, and he gets up to a good start. Um, we actually go behind again here to a good finish by Tevez. Terrible defending when that ball bounced back. Uh, there's two defenders that could have dealt with that. And they both got the wrong side of him. Uh, such is life though. And I didn't feel out of it. I didn't feel like he was that good. Even though he had a great side. I didn't feel like he was that great. Um, so he carried on. Regardless, Autumn Wingy getting his noggin onto that one. 2 1, a second we scored. The guy's attitude really changed. He, it, it really unnerved him that had scored. He started playing. He started playing slightly different, really. I don't know. He was a bit very scared of me scoring more. Uh, he was quite free flowing until then. But then he was doing every tournament trick in the book. Slowing it down and wasting time and stuff. That goal was credited to Nani, but if you watch, smacks Bernucci right on the forehead, but for some reason just goes. I don't know. It's a really strange goal, that one. Uh, a bit annoying. But Martin's ma manages to get us back in it again. It's always going to be a tough game in the semis. Uh, with the team we have, it's a 25,000 coin team at the moment, really. So, it's always going to be tough. Tevez is worth more than my team. <laughs> so many of his players, actually. And Nani gets him 4-2 ahead. Gutted with the fact the rebound went straight to him. But that happens. And again, he still didn't really feel out of this game. Um, you can see in the replay the rebound goes straight to him quite annoying but that happens, that's tournament football the plan guys is to give these tournaments a couple more goes um, win, lose or draw wrap up as you can see we get another one back there to take us 4-3 but not long left uh, the plan is to play a couple more tournaments win, lose or draw tie up this series and start a new squad with some of the coins I made him watch the replays because he started making me watch them so now I'm making you watch them <laughs> and unfortunately as you can see what he's doing now he's just passing it along his back four until the time's out yeah he did that for a good few minutes uh, before booting it up knowing that the whistle would go which I don't know, it's some people say it's a legitimate tactic, I think it's a bit a bit naughty, a bit naughty. But uh, let me know your thoughts on that if you think that was a bit cheap. But as you can see we've been eliminated from the cup. We'll go up the cup a couple more times, we'll tie up this squad and we'll start a new series straight away. Uh more to come on that guys. Um as we played three rounds of that cup but didn't win it. The, the starting 11 needs to be freshened back up to start the tournament again. So what I'm doing here is swapping... Oh, I've made a sign-in as well, Viviano uh, Goalie. He's just the next goalie up in quality at Inter Milan. So we got rid of the silver goalie who's there. Uh, and we've put him in. He was 900 coins. He's six foot five, uh, very good stats. Um, happy with that for 900 coins. So 
So we bring him in and our reserve 11 just to play one match, one single match online to freshen up the starting 11. We play against a guy with Odin Wingy and Denver Bar. Sort of a reasonably cheap Premier League team. And we eventually managed to get the lead with Fat Utaka. Ledge. Some players in this series have been legends. They've been in it from very early doors. Fat Utaka, Odin Wingy, Noir. Uh, ben Arf has been class. We might see him again. Uh, Elia has been really good. Um, I thought Diaby was good. Um, yeah, so there's been some there's been some standouts. There's Noir still scoring after all these years at the club. So we'll freshen up the squad, go at the tournament again, win, lose or draw. We'll try and type this series, I'll make you a brand new squad. I won't take loads of coins because that spoils the point of it. But I'll keep some, I'll set up a brand new club to get a new record. And uh, we'll make a, a new squad with a new theme. Maybe 10,000 coins, guys, I'll take over. And each will be there, bag in. And then you attack it again with a thunderbolt. Um, not exactly sure what this guy was doing wrong. He was just up against some very hungry players looking to force their way into my starting eleven. Um, but a nice game, nonetheless. Little Ribona there from Diaby. That and each of knocks in for him. Put always a poacher, big and Nietzsche. Scored at the weekend as well. Don't know if anyone saw that. Uh, there's the Ribona. And a very, very naughty chest in. Yutaka then <laughs> eventually rolls one in. I try and score no matter what when they rush to the goalie out. I don't like people that rush to the goalie out too much. So I don't care how I score. And that's how that game finished. It was just a game... To rest people, but we won 7 1, which is good. And so that's the plan. We'll get straight back into a tournament next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry I didn't win it.